guys, welcome back to Kumasau Reviews. We're taking a look at the latest from Fans Hobby. It's Fans Hobby's MB14A Flame Breaker. This is their homage to the US Transformers toy hose head. So, okay, you're gonna see, well, you're looking at three of pretty much the same mold, different colors and stuff like that. So, story about this. Cab, Headmaster Jr. from Master Force. This was their first release of this mold. This is MB14. Cap. Cap? Amish the Cab. U.S. After uh, Master Force, I think it was like a year later or so, the U.S. got a repaint of Cab in Hosehead. That's what this is homaging. MB14A. Flame Breaker. Last year, TFCon 2021, the Chosen Prime partnered with um, Fans Hobby to do a TFCon exclusive. And this one's homaging the Transformers comic character, Pyro. So, uh, I would say he's most notable from last end of the records and stuff like that. But really cool, and the only one that has any retool into it is Arson, whose head, his face has a different sculpt, as well as the top of the helmet. So, yeah. Since this is the third time that I'm reviewing this mold, I love it. It's actually my favorite product from Fans Hobby, all three of these. Um, but I'm not going to do a full, like, in-depth review going over the posability, transformation, stuff like that, because I've already done it twice. You can look at the reviews for Cap and Arson for that. This will be a comparison video for the most part, but we'll go over everything. All right. So what comes in the box for him is, and we're talking about Flame Breaker here, as seen on the instructions. He comes with an alternate gun and unlike Cap, this one can actually change its face out. Cap only has one expression. It's a smiley face. Hate it, but still an awesome toy. This one comes with both a stoic and a smiling face. Sticker sheet, per usual, and a card. All right. Well, one last look. Well, I guess the whole thing's gonna be looking at all three of them together pretty much, but on to the figure, man. Okay, so now we got them all together, all three versions of this mold so far. I don't know what else they have planned. I'm getting that tabbed in. I don't know why that's not tabbing correctly. But, so we've got MB14, Cap. Cap from Master Force. MB14A. This is uh, Flame Breaker. Break, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Flame Breaker. Hosehead, the American toy repaint of Cab. And then... MB14B, TFCon exclusive, TFCon, the Chosen Prime exclusive, I think it was from last year, 2021. Yeah, this is Arson, uh, just a, not even a retool, the headmaster was a retool, I guess, but this is an homage to Pyro from um, Transformers or whatever, so yeah. And I know my logos and stuff like that are going to cover up the left side of the screen for you, so I apologize, but trying to do this as best I can here. All right. So we're actually going to take him out of the equation, Arson. Break it down to just these two. All right. So the reds are the same. The main difference is pretty much that anything white has been changed to a gray. And it's a beautiful shade of gray. I like grays that are a little bit darker. And this one really really works it well and it's kind of cool because like on the side here this one looks lighter than um the ladder up top but it's actually the same hue all right so same difference between these two headmasters can fit inside of the seat and we will look over the headmasters in a second i just want to show you the functionality part of it See if I can get some better light on there. So there is a seat inside, and of course, you just kind of ball them up. Jeez, his el elbow's stiff on mine, but I guess the elbow doesn't really matter while I'm popping arms out of ball joints and stuff like that, but... Get him seated. In general, I do wish that the Headmaster Juniors from Fans Hobby had more, I guess, legitimate seating. I don't think any of them have been necessarily easy. 
Um, Ace Hitter, that mold, the Ghost Shooter was the best out of all of them, but yeah. All right. Make sure we're focused there. Get that back. Boom. Boom. You shouldn't have to get them in such a particular position just to have them sit in a seat. Boom. And then on both of these, the top of the headmaster head actually sits in the back. Now, because the headmaster's retooled on Arson, the front of the headmaster actually tabs in to the other seat. And they all have that same tab. There's no retooling to the mold itself, but it just sets differently. Alright. And again, comparison of the three. Flame breaker by itself. Rolling wheels, just like the others. Adder extension. Just making sure there's not like a third extension I'm missing. All right, cool. Yeah, pretty neat. I love this mold. I really do. All right, and just a quick side-by-side -side comparison of the Headmasters, Cap, Flamebreaker, Arson, and their bot mode, just straight repaint. Um, I mean, pretty straightforward stuff. Articulation is going to be the same one over that in the Cap review, but yeah. Okay, and here they are in headmaster mode. So, head mode, I guess. Cap, flame breaker, arson, cab, hose head, pyro. And you'll see that even though they're a repaint of each other, they have different expressions. Um, as we went over at the beginning of this video, this one does have an alternate faceplate that can change out. This one, unfortunately, the face is stuck on there. I don't know what they're going to do in the future, if they're going to release an alternate face or anything like that. I think they said they weren't and weren't able to, but we'll see. Who knows? But, again, arson. Yeah. All three of them look good. I just prefer the expression on that one. At least that's a default expression. Okay, and here's Flame Breaker next to Cap and Arson in its bot mode. So, very cool stuff. Let's see if... And if you've seen my reviews on Cap and Arson, you'll know that this is by far my favorite, pro the, my favorite product from Fans Hobby, period. So, I will get all of the repaints, the retools that they make of this. Um, so just putting my bias right out there uh, in the open. But yeah, so pretty cool stuff. I will get Arson out of the way. And I will actually put these two on the turnstile. So you can see the difference there. So the gray, um, there's a lot more gray showing on Flame Breaker here in this mode. Again, pretty much if you look, all the white parts changed out for gray. I do like that the grill here, or the full grill, the abs, on Flame Breaker, they're chrome or like a silver to really stand out from the gray as well. Um, this one doesn't have it outlined, this one does. So, pretty cool stuff. And on the chest, too. So, like the accents here white, gray accents, gray, chrome, silver accents. So, yeah, it looks good. I, you know, it's weird. I am a Master Force guy, so a lot of bias towards the Japanese deco because it's too inaccurate. But man, like as much as I don't really like the hose head toy, the US repaint, um, in comparison to the original cab toy, for this mold, this gray really, really kills it. And I could see why people held out for this. The, the shade of gray that they chose is perfect. Not too light, not too dark. It's just 
Right, so kudos to whoever they have um, doing color selection as well. I don't know if that's like a separate person from the designers or what, but whoever's in charge of that, great job. All right. Okay, so an honest look at Flame Breaker by himself. Height-wise, I'm getting just under seven inches for him. All right. And it is pretty. Rotate that correctly. All right, so zooming in on him. Not gonna go too crazy with like articulation and stuff like that. Uh, I've reviewed this multiple times, so transformation video, all kinds of stuff. It is the exact same as Cap, but a redeco. So he does have the stats inside, an homage to the older Headmaster figures. But they don't um, go up and down with the chest, so there's no like spring gimmick to, to it or anything like that. So boom, boom. And leaving it here, final thoughts on Fans Hobbies MB14A Flame Breaker, their tribute to the US repaint of Master Force's Cab in Hosehead. I love it. I love it just as much as Cap, but even more because it comes with an alternate face. The only thing that I wish that, one thing now that keeps this mode from being absolutely perfect is the fact that if the um, skirts are like folded up in the front, it can't swivel its waist, and that absolutely sucks. It's one that would take it from like a 9.5 out of 10 to a 15 out of 10. I'm, I stand by that. Um, so I wish that there was something that they could do to improve that. Um, outside of that, man, you can't ask for much more without being super petty, you know? Um, it's just, I love it. I've been very vocal about loving this mold. It's definitely their best project, their best, I keep saying project, but their best product in my opinion. And honestly, it's one of the better third party figures that I've messed with, period. One of the best Transformers toys I've messed with, period. Top five transforming Transformers toys I've messed with, period. Whether it be licensed or unlicensed, it's just god damned good. But anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Like, share, subscribe. Check out the full written review and gallery on kumasao.com. We are back and we are running with full galleries and stuff like that. So definitely leave comments on there. I've even opened it up to like, now you could add Facebook comments from your Facebook profile and all kinds of stuff. The site's been revamped. So very cool. Check it out. And again, let me know what you guys think in the comments. I'll see you next time. Stay well, stay safe. Hope you're all enjoying your summer. Next, Till next time.